Now, there was one problem that the aliens were having. And the problem is that their spaceship was fueled by gumballs. And they were running low on gum. And the only way to get gumballs was off the gumball tree. And the only gumball tree left in the universe was on planet Earth. And where could you find it? In America. So the aliens now knew exactly where they needed to go to get the star. They needed to get the gumballs to continue on their mission. Well, they started blasting off toward the Earth. And as they reached close to the Earth, they saw a man floating in space. He was an astronaut. And he said, greetings. What can I do for you, green fellows, today? They said, we are looking for the famous gumballs from the gumball tree on Earth in America. The astronaut said, well, the only way I can let you pass is if you give me three purple flowers and a carrot. The aliens luckily had carrots and flowers to spare. So they handed them over to the astronaut. The astronaut let them pass and they made their way to Earth. And when they landed, they landed in the water and they were greeted by a friendly crab. He was on the shore as they walked up from the ocean. They greeted them on a hot, hot day with nice pink ice cream cones. Welcome to America, said the crab. And behind the crab from the palm tree slithered out a snake. And the snake said, follow me, aliens, to the gumball tree. But first, you must fight before you are allowed to take the balls of gum with the world-class knight of the gumball kingdom who defends the honor daily of the gumball queen. And so, the aliens laid their anchor, made their way across the shore, and went to battle with the knight. And as they won the battle, they got access to the gumball tree, retrieved enough gumballs to make it back to outer space, to their planet, they lived happily ever after.